911, what is your emergency? Mr. Dirt, how are you feeling? Uh, it's Dear Tay. Feel a little scared. All right, Mr. Dear Tay. Well, don't worry. You're in good hands. You're right where you need to be. Is there a doctor in the house? I need a non-contrast CT to rule out hemorrhagic stroke. Stat, time is brain. While you're at it, order me a glucose, Chem 8, PTINR, and throw in a Rainbow 8 and SPO2 since its oxygen sat was less than 94%. That's on the stroke criteria too. I'm gonna get going on its stroke score. Yes. yes! CT's back. It's negative for hemorrhagic stroke. It's a thrombotic stroke. Let's screen for TPA. It's a good thing you got here within three hours, Mr. Dierte. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get TPA. medications for you. I have warfarin for anticoagulation and I have statins to bring down your cholesterol. How many of these do you think you can take at a time? Both. Okay. Hand hygiene. So the patient is a 55 year old male, Mr. Joe Dirt. Dear Tay. Dear Tay. Okay. He was admitted with a thrombotic stroke two days ago. He's currently taking Lovinox, Warfarin, and Lipitor. The doctor wants his INR to be 2.5 before discharge. He's currently at 2.1. He had a dysphagia screen with speech therapy and is on a dysphagia 1 diet with thin liquids. And how is he doing? He's tolerating it well. Okay, great. He worked with physical therapy. He's able to ambulate with standby assist with a walker. Anybody need a Foley? No! OT has worked with him twice and say he's not very cooperative. Oh. I'm so excited you're coming home today. I'm going home? Yeah, the nurse should be coming any second soon. I'm gonna bring my wow in here so we can go over all the discharge teaching. Okay, I'm gonna sit right here with you. We can talk everything over, okay? In the discharge teaching, I will be educating the patient on antithrombotic and statin meds we are discharging them on, as these are important to prevent a future stroke and promote optimal healing. My stroke education includes need for follow up after discharge and handouts and explanations of risk factor for stroke. These include smoking, alcohol use, high blood pressure, and sedentary lifestyle. Lifestyle changes will need to be made to prevent a future stroke. I'll also include warning signs and symptoms of a stroke, and when to call 911 and activate emergency medical system. Okay, Mr. Gertie, so we want to make sure that you are participating in physical therapy twice a week, as most of the rehabilitation that is going to occur from your stroke is going to happen within the first three months. Very, very important that we do that. Okay. After all the wonderful help at Quest the Utopia Hospital, Mr. Durte is discharged home. 
to hopefully have a full recovery. Action. So patient is a 55-year-old 50, male, Mr. Joe Dirtay. Dirtay. Dirt? Dirtay. Dirtay. Okay. <coughs> Admitted with a strong... Action. So let's talk about some lifestyle. Yeah. Yep. Action. Joe, we really, we got to stop smoking. We got to stop drinking. Okay. And I will go to the store and I'll buy us some spinach. We do. Can't, we can't eat it in anymore. Action. CT's back. It's negative for hemorrhagic stroke. It's a thrombotic stroke. Let's screen for TPA. So we need to start another IV so that your TPA can run by itself. So the TPA can run by itself.